Welcome again. This is part two of the Be Funky Photo Editor, where we're about to have a look. Let me just go down to the settings and the features. So this is our roadmap, if you like. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about nine things. So the best thing we can do is swap over. And that is to go over to, um, there's two on here. The left one, the white one, is the Be Funky free app. So when we get loaded up here, we're going to load a sample image and we're going to have a look around as a guide. So it opens up like this. Now, on the top, we've got the settings cog which I'm just going to press. When I say six things in here what I mean is that you've got two at the top be funky in Facebook and you go down and what I've done which is pretty important for people is I've chosen the maximum resolution of 12 megapixels 4000 by 3000 so I know that anything that I save is going to be outputted at that level so I'm going to go into the sample image that I've chosen this is one of my photos if I wanted to, I could hit the center top and I'll get a load of photos. So to save everybody time and energy, all I've done is I've chosen a photo. So here's the thing. We start off. We can pinch zoom to make it bigger and smaller. Now remember from part one we looked at to say putting your arms out in front of you, your hands out in front of you, you've got a big area of about 27 by 20, 20 inches. So in other words half a windshield on a car or something. This is potentially big. So what are we going to do with our edits and to start to have a look at what could be done. So the first thing is an obvious one and that is cropping. I'm not going to say anything more about that and I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence. To straighten it, again you've got a slidey thing here that goes over and you've also got a tick. If I actually hit the tick and say that's fine I want to actually create an image like that. If I don't like it or I want to go back hit the dial on the bottom right which looks like a clock face and you will see that we've got the straighten image and the original. So I'm just going to drop it back. Now, going along the bottom, and this is where I said very much in part one, think of it as a game, snakes and ladders. Think of it as a maze. Think of it as trying to have an idea that something of what you actually want to achieve. Because you will get, or you're possibly going to get, really messed up badly if you actually do some things without an idea of what you want, shall we say. So playing with the exposure is, is fine and you know we know that these things you know work, but what's the point? What do we really want to do with this picture? One of the things that I actually like that I did on my, my YouTube channel is to add a blur. Because the moment you add a blur to it, you've got a very, very interesting level where you can add some text over the top. I will cover this properly in another, uh, I think it's part four or something of this series. So in other words, all I'm going to say is a little overview to try and say, look, OK, if we go to edit first, we've got a bunch of things. If we go to touch up, this is nice and lovely, but really in the photo, I don't think with this one, we've got <laughs> the addition of lipstick or bronzer or blusher. But that is there. The point of it is, is get in, learn, remember and then create. This is probably one of the most brilliant, brilliant things about Be Funky. In the effects, we've got instant low mo art, and all of a sudden, things get very, very cool. And if we hit the slidey settings, we can do kind of like a fade, but what we can also do here is the brush. So the moment you put the brush on, what we can do is we can take it off and take it on. And then we can start, if you like to get the, the size of it, we can start to paint in the different effects. So at the moment I'm painting in with my finger, say just the grass on the effect. And if I want to reverse it, I can actually hit the little button on the right here and it reverses. You see what's happening? It's doing the sky but not the field. So I'm just going to come off of that one again. The one that I really like, and I'm not going to go about on about all of them is viewfinder 2 
for me that's I, I just really think that it's such a great look with the the black around the outside and all the uh, glass scratches type thing all over it if I liked it what I can do is I can hit the little star and that will throw it to the left hand side added as a favorite if I wanted to go in and hit the sliders again I can decide what I want so just to demonstrate this one more time before we move on we've got one slider to go from no effect to full effect but if we put the paintbrush on what we can do is start with nothing and let's say I wanted to paintbrush just the outsides I know this is not, not an effect as such because it looks horrendous but you get the idea of how it works so say if I just wanted a scratchy thing on say the sky only I can bring in some things you can get the way the app works use it for your pleasure if you want to rub things out you can come in and start rubbing them out a little bit erasing them and then you've got different slides play around with them let's move on and I want to go on to the original image remember original there we go we've got it now then we can come on and we can say some text first of all I'm going to write the word tree and then I'm going to drag it around to make it a lot bigger then I'm going to come in and just say okay what's our possibility here I'm going to choose a different uh, font and then I'm going to go back I'm going to color that this time I'm going to go in to say I want like a little um, blackness shall we say you can add a background if you want you can bring that to be say slightly you get the idea of how it is working come back remember I want to come back in again and this time I want to add some text sometimes you have to do these twice that do come back I'm just playing now it's very important to play I can come back to the text to edit it if I want I won't as it's only one word it doesn't have to be left right or centered it doesn't matter but with two words it will change um, and then we've got a couple more what do I want to do with this well if I bring it send it straight to the backwards then uh, hold on, bring forwards it doesn't do much because it's the only one on there but you get the idea I hope if I want to copy it I've now got a separate word of tree now at the moment we could probably see that we could play around with this extensively oh what I was going to say is if I come in remember that I said about small is the new big or whatever it was I was talking about hold twice and we can start moving around zoom zooming in at this stage all I want to do is go back to the original and I want to end this video because I think you get the idea of the way I would actually test an app or go through Ooh. so in other words where have we come so far edits touch up effects this is my method of how I would go through of not only learning the app but trying to remember it so with overlays having a little look inside we've got things like um, letters remember it how could it become useful do I want to add maybe a holiday of a witch's broom the thing is learn these things so they are in your tool bag that was all about the overlays frames very interesting one bringing very very cool Where's the instant one gone um, drop shadows yeah instant look we can now it doesn't work for this one does it but we can get I wonder if you can move that no um, an idea of the old instant picture coming up remember if you come in we can say can I have a full effect can I bring it back to um, oh, what's going on here it's actually moving the image isn't it it's interesting I, I know that I've learned something today I did not know it does that it's actually moving the image inside how weird that's something that I have learnt today, you know. Now that makes it quite an okay picture, doesn't it? I mean, not, not something I'd use straight away, but you get the idea where I've just learnt something. That's really interesting. If you hit the plus, by the way, then we can upgrade for some more frames and 65 more effects for about a couple of dollars. Or one at a time type thing. Hmm. I'm actually at a level now where I'm deep in thought about creating, because I've just learnt something new about the instant pictures. What else have we got in here? Grunge, grunge, what's that do? Please, please play around with these things. Huh, nice one. What's that do? I wonder if that moves it. 
Yeah, it moves the picture. How interesting. How interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay, good. Um, go back. I need to finish this video, don't I? Frames I've talked about, and then we're at the end of goodies. So I think this is approaching near the end of part two, while we just look around of what's in here. I'm not a big, you know, dweller on these sort of stickers and things, but you might be, or, you know, let's be honest, let's get the one that is, you know, good, shall we say, at it. I'm going to go back to original here and click OK, apply changes. What's it doing? What's it doing? Original. Go back. Right, OK, we've got our original goodies. Then the last one here was stickers, speech bubbles, shapes, numbers, monsters, emoticons, zodiacs, accessories, food, seasons. Seasons might be interesting for this one because we can come in and say, OK, I would love to have a um, little log fire somewhere in here. You, you get the idea, don't we? So look, let, let's wrap this up because what we've actually done here and all I'm going to do is to go back over and just recap very quickly on saying that what we've just done in part two here is starting with the effects on the Be Funky Free to say that those numbers there refer to the features inside um, the app. So in goodies there is 15. It's a lot to get through, isn't it? But if you know what you're doing, then you can just go in, load the image, edit it for a while and save and share. But please, please, please let me know as I know I've left tons out because what I want to do on the next one is to go in and look at the pro version only to explore some more frames, sorry, effects and some more frames. So let's get finished here, I'm rambling. Thanks very much. I make videos to help people learn.